Don't worry, it's not another plywood piece. I know I've made a few of those recently, but um, that's better. So the plywood version was just the version one, uh, the prototype, which I was gonna incorporate into this video, but then I figured I could do a separate video and kind of talk about the design process. I've had some people asking about that, so I figured it'd be a good opportunity. So maybe look for that coming up. Now, I've always wanted to make a dining chair but it just never really made sense from a business standpoint. But now that I've started making these YouTube videos, it's given me a nice outlet to make things that I maybe wouldn't have in the past. So, here we are. Anyways, let's get to the build. As usual, I start out with my MDF templates. plywood pieces where I can attach the template with screws because the plywood's getting stacked and those screw holes are being hidden. I can't do that with solid wood, so instead I attach my templates with double stick tape and that works perfectly. my pieces are trimmed to their final shape, I then use a few different table saw sleds to cut all the joints for each individual piece. Now one of my favorite uses for a track saw is to cut leg assemblies like this to length. Super quick, super easy, works perfectly. legs are pretty much ready to go and now we get to the fun slash tedious slash dusty part of carving the seat bowl the place where you or the seat uh, indent where your butt go the place where you sit what I do is I first mark the shape that I want and then I'll drill holes throughout the seat area to specific depths, which give me an indication of how deep to actually carve in each part of the seat. Now for the actual carving, I use a cuts all carving wheel. Let me show you. I think this is the medium grit 
but it essentially just has all these carbide teeth all over and has this nice curved shape. Even using the medium grit dish, it still is pretty quick. I think I rough carved the seat in maybe 30 minutes. But no matter how careful you are with the carving wheel, there's still a ton of sanding to get that shape nice and smooth. see in the final shots of the chair I went a little too far with the carving and the seat got pretty thin so I guess if I were to make more of these I would probably use thicker stock for the seat so that I can get that same shape but still have plenty of material for a, a strong seat now what I did for the seat back was essentially just take a thick chunk of walnut get it into place with dominoes mark it trim off the excess and then do a lot of sanding to get all those transitions nice and smooth. In this case I actually did the glue up then did a lot of the rough sanding once the back was already in place. Then it was just a few coats of Danish oil, always remembering to leave a little extra for the beard, and this one was done. Now, I haven't been doing catchphrases for these main builds, but I don't want to disappoint. So this time we've got, Danish oil is great for your chair, and also for your hair.